Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to Nose It Lab. <clears throat> oh, the memories. Can you believe it? As the station celebrates our 70th anniversary, I tell you what, the heart and soul of this station, Mr. Nose It, <laughs> is celebrating 60 years after making his big ba debut back then. Uh, the legendary Mr. Nose It show had an incredible impact with a grand debut here in the capital city. You're looking at some of the priceless photos, and you know what? The decades-long show, such a unique show for children, was a source of education and experience all around the Midlands. It was truly a bragging right to say that you sat right here on this coach <laughs> with Mr. Knows It himself from the show, starting in 1963 all the way to 2000. You were on just as long as Law & Order, Papa Joe. <laughs> 60, 60, 60 years. Wow. Congratulations. I was, I was 28 when I joined WIS. 28 and 60. Yeah. 88. Well, is my math right? I think yeah. your math is mathing. Yes. Well, it's all good. It's good. the number of keys on a piano, so I'm trying to get back in tune. You are. Oh. We love it. We love it. First of all, congratulations. What an incredible legacy and so many memories. We're going to walk down memory lane in just a moment, but the first thing I want to ask you, Papa Joe, is just the impact. I mean, when people talk about Mr. <laughs> Knows It, when they see you, when they think back of their appearance on the show, I mean, it fills their heart with joy. And I know that doesn't get old for you. It has been a, a legacy of joy. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I was talking to uh, a friend of mine and a little girl came in, and I thought she was probably about 25. She said, Mr. Nozit, I was on your show when I was a child. Well, the show has been off the air for 23 years. Right. And she looked about 25. <laughs> and during the course of the conversation, she said, uh, well, I was on during one of the earlier years. I'm 68. I oh, could not what? believe it. Oh my goodness! I don't know. I don't know who her, who her esthetician is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but She's I'm holding gonna, up well, huh? Yeah, but I'm yeah. going to find out. <laughs> yeah. My aunt was on your show. I wow. mean, I, I heard about it from way back in the day. She was from Chester, South Carolina, and uh, was down here in uh, in Columbia and got to be in the Mr. Doza show. Yeah, that was a big thing, Billy Jean. Yeah, it really well, was. You know, uh, when I think about Mr. Knows It, you know, growing up here in the Midlands and being able to watch the show like were you ever on? Brad Right? No. Is it too late? Well, well, we. <laughs> well, 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 finally on the couch. Well, 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 yeah. well, well, we were very selective. Yeah. <laughs> you know. You know, you know no, no, I have said that to some people uh -huh. in, in jest, and they right. went. Oh, really? Oh, really? Oh, no. I, I'm kidding. I'm no, kidding. No, joking. I promise you. <laughs> so, Angel, I have to ask you, do you ever sit back and think about the impact of 60 years of bringing something unique? It had not been done on any television station here in South Carolina, and it was fun. It was educational. When I think about, like, Barney and Sesame Street, I mean, Mr. Knows It was right up there with those shows, mm -hmm. really making an impact in the lives of well, young children across the Midwest. Well, it's been a blessing because uh, I absolutely adore people. You and uh, no better way to meet people than on television and to uh, hug all sorts of mascots. And uh, by the way, uh, they cut out of this before I got hit in the head with a snowball. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but to see, I mean, there is no greater joy or more comfortable feeling than to be hugged by a child. Well, and you know what? You still get those hugs everywhere you go. I mean, and you just talk about the impact you have had on mm -hmm. the broadcasting industry and here in the Midlands and in South Carolina. I mean, just such a treasure, Joe. What, do, is there any special memory from the show that just always has stuck with you? I know there's so many, but. It's, that's right. Yeah. So many. Uh, gee whiz, I'm going through my collection. My mm -hmm. wife used to call it my uh, clutter. Mm -hmm. But uh, going through my uh, collection of treasured memories uh, for a book, perhaps. Oh, I hope uh, that, that'll uh, be great. You know, Jody yes. Peeler over at Newberry College is okay. talking to me about it. And uh, 60 years is a long time. Well, actually, it was 55, uh -huh. um, but I'm, I'm still here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too much of me to still oh, uh, you know, uh, 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 But uh, it was the greatest run working here at WIS. I mean, you know what I'm talking oh, about. Oh, I know. I and know exactly you know what, what I'm you talking mean. about. Yeah. The people, the, the, the purpose, 
the message, the station itself, and Gray is great. Gray Broadcasting. Absolutely. And I love this extended 11 to 8. I love it. It is local. It is now. It's all over the world, but it's for us. Here right. In yeah. To serve the, the local WIS community. The WIS viewing area. Yeah. I, I, I don't want to get <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Papa Joe, we have some amazing pictures of oh. the back in time that we want to show our viewers that you brought from, yes. um, as your wife affectionately call it, your clutter. But we're going to say your collection. Uh, walk us through some of these moments here and tell us well, what this, was going this, on. This was my very first uh, promotional picture. Uh, and uh, of course, I didn't have too much of a costume, as you can see. It was oh, just yeah. a shirt a and, and haircut. the short hair. And hopefully, we can zoom in on them. So, uh, our and, uh, there we go. There we go. and uh, actually, I was talking about hydroponics that's growing okay. plants with water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, okay. Yeah, we turned yeah. that one yeah. All right, there we go. Well, that was black and white television. Yeah. And, yeah. Of, of course, uh, the idea of the Mr. Nosa program, they, they, when they asked me if I wanted to do a, a children's show, I said, mm -hmm. well, yeah, I think it would be great, uh, but I don't want to be a Mr. Bozo and dress up in a funny costume. I yeah. wanted to be more like a Mr. Wizard. Mm -hmm. So these are some of the promotional pictures. And by the way, that elephant threw sand in my face uh, <laughs> right after that picture was taken. Oh I, I guess he didn't, li he didn't he like did. the program, he I don't did. guess. He you did know. Ride that elephant. And that uh, just... Uh, the children that uh, started coming on a couple of years after I was showing the Little Rascals cartoons that a lot of people will, uh, not cartoons, but shows mm -hmm. that a lot of people will remember. My first guest uh, for an interview was Troy Donahue, and he was on the Mr. Nosey program with yeah, me. Yeah, famous and, actor. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. right, and uh, got a cute picture of him with it. He, he, turned up his tie and, and started interviewing yeah. the children too. So that was back in the uh, uh, late 60s. Wow. And, yeah, and uh, of course a lot of stars would come in for the Carolina, uh, Carol uh, Carolina, 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 Carolina Parade. The Carolina Parade. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And, and that's William Shatner, of course, uh, from Star Trek. Let me tell you a little story <laughs> about <laughs> William Shatner. I had to leave and I left the show with him and he was interviewing a child, and the child went on him. And, oh, uh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. He, he was not a happy camper. Oh. <laughs> But there he is. Yeah. Did you know William Shatner yeah. had appeared yeah. with him? No. And we had many set changes over uh, so 37 years, as you can imagine. And a lot of children. Gee okay. whiz. I, I figured about 100,000. So many happy wow. yeah. And uh, there's Ken Kong, my uh, favorite gorilla, and <laughs> Linda Johnson from the zoo. And I, uh, as much as I don't like a lot of medicine, uh, I did encourage uh, the youngsters to take a flu shot. And, yeah. Uh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, and that's what you're doing on this picture. <laughs> Look at that. I know. Oh, okay. Listen. Now, now, with this picture, Advice. Uh, There's the elephant. Yeah. I rode that from the Casey Railroad Yard to the State House. <laughs> and uh, let me tell you, I was worn out by the time I got oh to the goodness. State House. Oh, my goodness. And uh, uh, never wear boxer shorts, but that's. that's, that's that, that, <laughs> no. That, well, that, Billy, that, I want you to go to the very last picture because yeah. I, I, I know our time goes by so quickly with Papa Joe, but that was his last appearance and with oh. his beautiful family. And of course, we wow. all miss sweet Peggy so much. Yeah, but yeah. Joe, you are a gift and a treasure to us all. We love and adore you, and we are thrilled to have you here to celebrate oh, 60 years. Congratulations. We'll be back after this. <laughs>